to another video, another vlog. Am I even in focus? Good morning. I'm starting this vlog on a Thursday, which is random, but I'm really tuning into the fall vibes. I feel like we've just teleported into the fall season. Not even transition, because I don't think there was a transition period. It was very, very warm last week. I was like, oh wow, summer's really extending its way into October, and then it is so dreary and sad out. So next couple days, I wanna prep for this new season, get in the mood. I've already started with orangey fall rusty vibes. But yeah, today I woke up pretty early. I had already, you know, set out my workout clothes. I planned the workouts that I wanted to do. I already did a Peloton class downstairs and now I'm gonna do a yoga class. I'm trying to coordinate with my boyfriend so that we're doing it at the same time, synced up. Um, should be awake. 30 minute yoga session slash stretch can go a long way. Definitely beneficial for the mind and body before starting the work day. I'm literally, I was a terrible vlogger today, but I have been in my shoebox of a room filming, editing, clothes were just thrown everywhere. <laughs> I've got a huge pile of laundry that I gotta fold, put away later. It's honestly fun because I filmed like a little outfits video for Instagram. It's definitely not easy working with very limited space, but we make it work. I put on some makeup for the video but I'm gonna take it off now and I'm actually gonna go to the gym. I'm feeling a quick lift. I don't typically like to go so late in the day. It's already 6.45. Um, I'm not quite ready for my day to be over. Also, I'm just using this makeup wipe for my eyes. And then the rest of my face I just do with an oil cleanser. It just melts off. Kinda bummed that this makeup was only on for a few hours for filming because it looked really good today, but. Good morning, it is Friday, and I just finished filming a bunch of stuff. My room is still in shambles, but I've just been cooped up, so I'm gonna go out for a run. It's pretty dreary on this side of the city, so I'm gonna drive out and hopefully go somewhere where there's a little bit more sun, maybe more scenic route. I haven't done this run in a while, so I'm excited. <laughs> Happy Saturday. I spent a good portion of my day out in the Marina District. Went on my run, watched Fleet Week, took myself to lunch. Like, it was a really nice day. By the time I got home, it was already late afternoon and it was starting to get dark. I did get a package, which I wanted to show you guys yesterday, but 
I saved it for today because now it's morning and we have better lighting. <laughs> I just got in some new pieces from Princess Polly Boutique and I'm so, so excited because I picked out things for the fall. I also have a vacation coming up soon, so I picked some stuff out for that. So thank you to Princess Polly for gifting me these items. I'll show you what I picked out, but if you guys do wanna shop on their site, you can use my code Chris for 20% off. I'll start off with this dress. This dress is like a black floral midi dress. I love how simple it is and I feel like darker floral is definitely a good transition piece for summer to fall. I am gonna go to Trader Joe's today, that's my one plan for the day. I'm gonna style this dress with these loafers, which are also from Princess Polly. I've never owned loafers, never really thought they were my style, but I wanted to give them a try. I like that these are a little bit more edgy. They have a platform and they're like chunky and with little white socks. Yeah, next this is not like a full specific piece, but it is a basic that I think I can style pretty much year round It is this white t-shirt dress. It's a bodycon dress. I have pretty much the same thing, but it's a cropped t-shirt from Princess Polly and I've had them for years and I wear them so, so much. I feel like a bodycon version of that would be really versatile. I love that it's like a thicker rib material so I don't have to worry too much about it being see-through. I did also get it in black because I got a size four, which is like my usual size, but especially with this, I wanted it to be like nice and snug. Next, I picked out this really pretty corset bustier type of shirt. It's got this darker floral print and then the entire back is lace up. So not only adds a cool detail to the top, but it makes it like more adjustable so you can like make it as tight or as loose as you want. Next, I picked up these bottoms. They're pretty much like flared sweatpants. You can see it's like a ribbed, soft, almost like corduroy feeling material. Super comfy. They're pretty stretchy. They are long enough for me, which is always bonus points in my book. Very fitted on the waist, but thighs, but then they flare out. You never have enough comfy, cute loungewear. I did pick out some coats because I freaking love jackets and especially living in San Francisco, it gets chillier. Picked out this blazer and I got it in a size 8 because I wanted it to be like nice and oversized. It's got a very small plaid print so from afar you can't really tell that it's plaid but if you look closely. It's got some checker going on. I like that it's more of a warm tone. So it has browns, blacks, creams. I really do like the fit of this though. And I'm glad that I went with a size up. Puffer jacket is probably like my go-to jacket of choice in the fall and winter. They keep you warm, they look good. So I picked up this one, it's this tan color. Slightly cropped, but not too cropped. I really like when jackets have zippers to them. So that way all your things can just stay secure. It's got ribbed cuffs. I've got a solid, solid puffer collection. I definitely needed this beige one though to really tie it all together. Okay, this coat honestly feels so bougie when I put it on. Do we see her? Full leather or faux leather, sorry. Trench coat and it's got black fur lapels, black fur wrist detailing. Cuffs. I love the faux leather faux fur look together. It just looks so Love 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 trench coats, especially being a taller person. I feel like it just really looks so Elongating there's also a belt here if you wanted to button yourself up look all snatched So that was like the fall portion of this haul, but in this bag I've got all the goods that I'm gonna be taking with me I'm actually going to Maui for the first time in like a week and a half first. I got these denim overalls short overalls how cute. I'm gonna wear this as my little swim cover-up, have my bikini underneath. Princess Polly has the same style overall, but in corduroy with different colors. But I went for the classic denim look. Another nice cover-up option would be this little sweater. I could also wear this here in San Francisco, but it's not the most practical sweater as it's very holy, not warm at all, but it looks cute and I love the hang of it. It's a cream white color, if you can see. Picked out this skirt in this oatmeal color, I believe. Tan beige, almost looks linen. I have the same skirt in black, in white, in a black leather, and it's just super versatile. Also, I love when clothes have gold hardware instead of silver. That small detail just makes it so much better. You can't go to Hawaii and not go to the beach. So, swimsuits. This green one, it has this sort of texture to it. These are the bottoms, they're a bit cheeky, but I do like that these ones are very secure. I don't have to really worry about these ones falling down. Sometimes with a Thai bikini, it can like slip around. I saw this print and I was like, that's just so fun. So here are the bottoms. They've got little flowers on them, almost like a neon floral print. The top is more of like an underwire bra situation. It's like different than what I usually go for. I always get triangle bikinis, but this one actually doesn't look too bad. So last couple accessories. This one says vacay and it also says relax. If you can see that. Very fitting because I will be vacaying and relaxing. Sorry, I have a clip in and I don't want to take out my hair, but you can kind of imagine. 
I really like the color palette. The majority of it is cream and then it's navy blue and a little bit of red. Picked up some new sunnies and I love these ones because they're just big and they take up the majority of my face. And last but not least, I did pick out another pair of shoes a new pair of heels. I like their selection of shorter, more simple heels. Picked out these nude heels. They've got a square toe. They're a little bit strappy, but not too strappy. These are gonna be great for occasions, weddings perhaps. But yeah, that's everything that I picked up from Princess Polly. Thank you so much to them for sending those things over. If you guys wanna shop on their site, you can use my code Chris for 20% off. I'm gonna spend my Saturday morning at Trader Joe's. I have been waiting all week to go to Trader Joe's and I was supposed to go, I mean, I wanted to go yesterday or the day before or whatever. It just wasn't the right time. <laughs> I did indeed get dressed up just to go to Trader Joe's. And I had a blast in there just seeing all the new items, fall related things. I think I tried these for the first time last year and these are seasonal, obviously. They're so good. I should probably stock up on them, honestly. Re-upped on my favorite granola, bananas. I want to make banana bread or pumpkin bread at some point this week. Lunch for today is going to be this pita bread, cucumber, tomato, and then I bought this tzatziki creamy garlic cucumber dip. So this will be like a really fresh, healthy lunch. I got some things to bake with in the next couple days or next week, whatever, but I got some walnuts, I got vanilla extract, canned pumpkin, I think it's like pumpkin puree. Also got this pumpkin pie spice. I don't know what it's gonna go in or on, but Tis the season. Rolled oats because I love oats for breakfast. Strawberries, plain Greek yogurt, garbanzo beans, which is kind of random. Favorite creamer from Trader Joe's. Favorite oat milk, a green juice, just just to have a new jar of peanut butter. Pumpkin spiced JoJo's. These were right by the cashier. They really got me with this one. And then this cute little pumpkin. I'm pretty sure it was 80 cents, but I'm just gonna put that in my room at my desk. <laughs> now I have to put all of that away. Before I do, I do wanna try one of these. Those look divine. Oh my gosh. I still have my coffee from earlier this morning. Mmm. Mmm. I like that. I like that a lot. Mm-hmm. That's so dangerous. Oh! But so good. I should cut this tomato, to be honest. Oh, there's already cucumbers in this. Wait a second, what if we did some of this? Oh, oh yeah, there we go. Happy Sunday, y'all. I'm just about to head out of the house with my parents and Elvis. We have a little family morning slash afternoon, I guess. I think my mom and I were going to the driving range and then my dad's going to the gym. Elvis comes along with us. He likes to sit and just watch. It's really cute and wholesome. Elvis, Elvis, where are we going? Where are we going? pretty chill and restful Sunday. Besides going to the range and getting lunch earlier, that's kind of been it. I took a nap and now I'm gonna just do a little self-care night. I've been wanting to do my nails at home. My natural nails are really grown out and strong and healthy. So I just wanna have something on them for like the next few days, but I probably will get them done before my trip. I've been doing my own toes at home, which saves me so much money. I literally just get white every single time. So might as well just do them at home and they last three weeks to a month. 
when you do that, play some Netflix. Oh, watch something on Netflix, I mean. I don't really know what. First play the game, I'm running through bones. So. Redeem Team on Netflix. I said I would watch that over the weekend, so. Yeah. Good morning. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. You're not tired. I'm good. I'm good. I've got some green tea because I already had my cup of coffee this morning. Yeah, I've been editing the vlog you're watching right now, actually. And sometimes I find it really hard for myself to focus. But something that's been helping me a lot is number one, having my desk be clean, having a nice drink to sip on, and also having this ambient music playing while I'm editing or like doing emails. I have a couple playlists on Spotify, but it needs to be very chill beat, low BPM, no lyrics or no words or whatever. Basically instrumental. If I'm not listening to a Spotify playlist, then I'll have on this. You just takes it out of that. It's a rainy jazz cafe video on YouTube. And it's like three and a half hours long. I just put the volume to like very low so that I have something going while I'm also editing. Such a minor thing, but for some reason it really does help me focus and kind of makes me excited to study. Or not study, edit. <laughs> Anywho, that's how my Monday's going. It's been a productive morning so far. Literally still in my pajamas, but that's all right. <laughs> I also forgot to show this shirt earlier in my little fall haul with Princess Polly, but this is also from them. Such a simple shirt, but it really does apply to me because this like play record area, it reminds me of just how I vlog and I take a lot of videos. <laughs> 777, seven's my favorite number. It's been my number for volleyball for years and years. There's also seven members of BTS, so but yeah. I'm gonna get back to it. I have not worked out today. I'm itching to get some movement in, but yeah, I don't think this video should take me too, too long. So maybe in a couple hours.